Sub YouTube, welcome back to another video documenting my journey to legend. I've never hit legend before and I'm hoping to do so for the first time this season. If that's something you think you'd be interested in, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Man, this video, man. Uh, I'm going to be showcasing once again all my losses and how GBL handed my behind to me on a silver platter. But before we get to that, I want to give a huge shout out to the following two people. Two people who have been subscribed to the channel for a minute now, Shark Vibe and Siphon Ash. Thank you guys as always for your support. I read all your comments and it really, really means a lot that you've decided to follow me along this journey. So without further delay, let's get into the battles. As you can see, we're now in the Ultra League tanking ELO and we're rocking a pretty similar strat to what I was using back when the Ultra League Premier Classic was around, which is a fighter in the lead and two flyers in the back. This time the fighter is Heracross, uh, a shiny Heracross that I had, and I'm pairing it up with uh, Gyarados and Dragonite, both of which aren't Shadow. Um, but this set of battles showed me that I probably benefit from a Shadow version, Shadow version of at least one of these. And the reason I wanted to run Heracross is because unlike Toxicroak, it does much better against Swampert. And so all of these are losses. Uh, we're going to showcase just that. I could still um, try to swap out, seeing as I do have two better responses to Swampert in the back. But here I managed to uh, throw the Rock Blast at the Charizard. Um, I guess they were expecting me to throw the, the Mega Horn, but I was keeping an eye out. And I saw the, the Fire Flyer come in. And now we're up against the wall rain and I'm feeling pretty good about this match. We managed to CMP tie here when I throw the aqua tail on their icicle spear, just out of just, just random. It wasn't like I was uh, being tactical with it or anything. Um, I just kind of got a hunch that they might throw. And here I do <laughs> shield up because I do have a uh, tubby tubster in the back. So they bring in Swampert. I build up to the rock blast, which might've been a mistake. Um, but the wall ring doesn't have any moves loaded so i should be shielding here but i don't and now i'm in a farm down range where here i make another mistake i shouldn't have thrown any moves if i was going to decide not to shield i should have just powered through and because of that it's a simul ko and oh man i was so upset at that like i should have shielded the hydro cannon they would have either have had to have taken me out but i would have been able to get some dragon breaths in um, in this match, we have a, a horrible lead in Jelly, and then they swapped into um, Scrafty. And while you think that may be great, I'm going to throw off the superpower. They don't shield it. I'm like, okay, cool. I won switch. I didn't have to go down a shield. This is perfect, right? They have bubble. So I don't, if they farm me down, they're going to take a lot of damage, even though I am one times debuffed. Um, I try not to throw on CMP. I try to throw as many Dragon Claws as I can. And now I'm feeling pretty good because I have Gyarados on the jelly. I know I can tank at least one of these moves. Um, they do hit me with a Shadow Ball. Here I'm like, okay, I don't mind shielding. Uh, it's probably double fighter in the back. No, it's a freaking Charizard and I swap right into it. Even if I did stay with all that energy lead that I had on the Gyarados, two versus one shield, I don't think I could have came back from that. So that was just a pretty hard team. I didn't have anywhere to go with the Heracross. And that's sort of what I was finding out is like fighters didn't really have a lot of place to go in the meta. Um, they did have, they did lead with a wall rain and were met with a Machamp. I decided to call the first move since I got way too much. <laughs> I got baited way too many times by fighters. And at this point, they can just go straight cross chop. I build up again just before they reach their next move. They decide to let that through. And now we're going to get off this crunch. And I believe this wall rain is going to attempt to farm me down. And I think they're going to get it. We don't get a debuff, which is kind of shit. I don't manage to get that Aqua Tail off, which would have really helped out. And they bring a Charmer. <laughs> and so I go for the superpower as a big F you. Um, and GG's to my opponent. And then I top left. <laughs> Again, my fighter didn't really have a lot, a lot of places to go. Another big jelly lead. And, and we're met with a freaking charmer. <laughs> uh, so again, I'm going for the superpower. And I'm going to bring in Heracross to do as much damage as I possibly can. Hoping they don't shield. And then I'm going to rely on Gyarados. Because for the most part, Gyarados is a pretty safe pivot in this meta. There's not too many things that hard counter it. 
and you do win a lot of matches, though you are better off with the shadow version. So I bring in... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's how my day was going. Now, Sylveon, you would think it's a horrible lead, but the Sylveons that I noticed that were in GBL were all running Quick Attack. So I have some sort of hope, right? And here I'm hoping that they don't throw the Moonblast. That's my only win con because nothing can deal with this. They do throw the Psy Shock, and now I'm going to try to CMP, or I do CMP, on the next Psy Shock. And they do let it through, and now I can let Heracross go down and commit to an aggressive-ass farm down with uh, Gyarados, maybe? No, 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 Dragonite because it's uh, Dragon Breath gets stab. So I figured I would farm it down a little quicker than with uh, with Dragonite. Oh, uh, with uh, Gyarados. And I believe they're going to swap. They swap, yeah, they swap into Dragalge. I throw off the Dragon Claw to get a shield from them before swapping into Gary. And now they have to build up to the Outrage, but they don't. And so I don't shield. I thought for a second I missed, miscounted. And I don't know if in, in hindsight, um, this crunch isn't going to KO. And that's one of the problems with non-Shadow Gyarados. If you look at PV Poke, they say to go with the Shadow version. And I think that is the correct option. I don't think that regular Gary puts up enough of a fight. Here they're almost at the back-to-back, -back, so I don't really want to shield up. Because I'm going to have to shield one of these moves anyway. And here I make another mistake. Instead of throwing the Dragon Claw immediately between their uh, wing attack, I take too long and I take too much quick attack damage. And now I'm going to get taken out. So I needed to take one of these Mons out with that move much sooner. And I might have had a shot. Here, I was a little pleased with how I played this. I managed to CMP, which was amazing. But, ah, oh man, I, hindsight 2020, right? I shouldn't have shielded this. I shielded up at the last second thinking they would Brave Bird and Dip. But no, of course, they freaking Feather Dance. You love to see it. And they bring in uh, Swampert. So I would much rather have let that Feather Dance go through. Shield a... Uh, a Hydro Cannon, and and then play it from there, because a Hydro Cannon would have done a lot more damage. Our switch timers are misaligned, and so I bring in Gyarados as quick as I can to try to get as much of an energy lead on this thing as possible. They spam the Hydro Cannons to try and get out of this. They bring in the Trev. Every single tre Trev that I've gone up against has shielded the first move, so I bait. We get, we cut, we get the shield, which is great. And now they're going to have to throw if they don't want me to get to this crunch. So they do. Which is like, is fine. I would have rather have had the, uh, the damage. I would have rather have taken this thing out. And now I'm going to bring in my two-ton tubby tubster to try to do as much damage as I can to this. We do manage to take it out before they reach a move, I believe. And now I'm relying on Heracross. And... They need to go for the Brave Bird, which is why we see MP tie. If they went for the Feather, feather Dance, I might have survived it. But I just don't have enough thrust in these pumps to take out the Swamp. And um, we get taken out. Ah, oh, man. I, I think if I hadn't shielded that Feather Dance, I would have been in a much better spot. Because I believe my Dragonite would have had a lot more health. So that might have been the deciding factor. But I think otherwise I played that pretty well. This just horrible lead after... Um, Horribly. Actually, I think this was a good lead, right? Yeah, yeah, it was an Obstagoon. So, we go immediately for the Aqua Tail. They could have reached the Shadow Ball, but they don't. They throw the Sand Poom, uh, the, the Sand Poom. They settle for the Sand Tomb, and I'm feeling okay. You know, I had to go down to Shield, but we still have a uh, Swap. But my opponent is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to go for one of the most aggressive farm downs ever. And I think in hindsight, knowing this, I should have swapped immediately into Dragonite. Because they're going to farm me all the way down. All the way down to Shitty Pot Town. Um, knowing that I have two answers, right? Like, I have double flyers. This this thing isn't really going to do much. And they do land the beam. And what do we have? We have a Kofa. And if I don't call this correctly, which I don't. Uh, spoiler warning. <laughs> um, this is a pretty much a losing matchup. I think even in the ones, this is a losing matchup. Unless you call that bait. But even if I do, they could go for another Dark Pulse. Maybe I would have had a shot, um, because then they would have still had to have gotten to another move. But, uh, maybe. Maybe that was my, my wing con, was calling the, the move. And, yeah, we lose another freaking heartbreaking lead game. 
another great lead what do we do this time all right charizard we swap in the gyarados this isn't looking too bad they don't build to the blast burn so i'm feeling all right um, i'm gonna throw the aqua tail before they reach their move to force them to make a decision and they shield so i'm gonna match shields and i think i outpace to the next dragon claw but just barely so i think uh oh actually a little a little uh over the aqua tail do they let this go they do and now they're gonna bring in a charmer ah oh, man it feels good to be great all right so what do i do my only win con is that they let this rock blast through we uh i believe we see impede here maybe i forget they don't, and I have to let this through. They're, I'm not getting to another move. And we go down. <laughs> oh, brother. So I had managed to make it to 2709 on this date, and then I dropped all the way to 2562. So I played all five sets because I wasn't feeling tilted. I'm feeling down now, right? Like I'm, I'm, I was so close to expert and I just, I lost it. I lost all of it. And these are all my losses, obviously. So there were some games I won, but I didn't win enough to climb up. I climbed down. So I'm just, I'm not feeling confident that I'll hit legend uh, this season. And I think knowing that has taken off a lot of the pressure for me to try to hit legend. I am still going to try for expert. And if I can make expert, then I will continue playing without a chip on my shoulder that I feel like I need to reach legend because that's honestly the whole point of this YouTube channel. And it's not like, the, you know, once this season is over, there will be no other shots at reaching legend. And while I am going to let some people down, like Raijin God Sasuke, who, who I really wanted to prove that even if you're a scrub like me, you can reach legend. I'm just not feeling that confident anymore. And... Yeah, I mean, I still have 500 points, basically 500 points to climb to reach Legend, but I will try to make a break for Expert. What these sets taught me was that a fighter lead isn't a really good lead in the Ultra League Premier, so I'm going to switch that up. I have another idea for a team that I want to try. I did end up switching Dragonite for Charizard, and it, it, it did shit for me, so that kind of sucked. But I do have an idea for something that I saw. A lot of the leads were weak to Rock and Electric. So I have something in mind that I want to try while not being weak to fighting. And we'll see if we'll see if it works. If it does, you'll see a video. If it doesn't, you'll probably see another video. I'm just really hoping I don't tank anymore because uh kind of kind of stings a little, you know, to just keep yo-yoing. But uh yeah, that's the vid. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh <laughs> I hope you guys can see that I'm struggling out here. Um so if you are too, you know, just know you're not alone. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.